Hello, welcome back to my channel, which and of course I know almost, I think it might be two or three people that actually watch my shit and they probably don't give two fucks either, but anyways, a little update on the Ford F-150. Y'all don't know which one I'm talking about, look back at my channel, the episode I made before, it's my new truck. Today, I got a donor truck for parts, because... If y'all watched my videos before, the floor on mine was completely rotted out. So I needed the truck with, for either the cab or the floorboard, whatever one whatever one I'm willing to do. Swinging for more of cutting the floor out and replacing it with another piece. Anyways, that's the that's my truck. Yeah, it's missing parts right now because I'm right now doing some stuff with it. But this is the donor truck. It's a 1981-82-ish Ford F-150 Ranger, four-wheel drive. Um, the parts that I take off of it, first of all, these tires over here, I'm not using this, this is just laying out. I'm using both of these tires, I'm going to get them swapped over to these rims, so I'm going to put these BF Goodriches on the back and move those tires, which are all terrains, to the front. All right. But this truck right here, kind of like with that truck over there it was gave to me because and this one right here was gave to me just because the fact the dude could and the dude bought it drove it home and he had it for maybe a year or so and just stopped running and he couldn't do anything about it as you can tell this engine is pretty fucked but yeah he gave me it i was like oh okay so i get a pretty good truck and the seat on my truck, which is right now sitting in the back, I don't know if you can see it from here, right there, all the way across, that seat has the left side uh, wore down, and this is the seat that comes with the new truck that I might put in it, it's two separate seats, so it's good, whatever. This truck, I was, don't get me wrong, I was going to use the parts off of that truck, on my truck, and make this one mine. But the dude took the, um, the most valuable, valuable part out of this thing, and it was the, uh, transfer case. So, can't do shit with it. Now, after I get all the parts that I need off of this, I'm going to part it out or whatever, or sell it whole for parts. But I know the stuff that, I know I'm taking the floor pan out, or the cab, whichever one works, the seat, some, some of the interior, these wheels, that, this wheel right here was a spare, it was sitting in the bed of it. That one over there was on it, that's why it's right now on a jack stand. Once I get these tires switched out over here, I might just stick one of, uh, one of these tires, like one of these tires on the back just so it's not sitting on the ground. I mean, it's going to be a smaller tire, but it won't be sitting on the ground. And I don't know much about Fords. This tailgate seems like a pretty high trim package. It says Freeman. You're going to have to let me know down in the comment section if this is a higher, a higher or a lower trim package for this truck. I'm going to assume it's a higher trim package just because of how much chrome is on this truck. Then of course, like I said, I don't know shit flying fuck about these Fords. Both of the drive shafts are right here. And I will sell certain parts to you if, for the right price, of course. I got these two drive shafts, the front and the back drive shaft. Got two axles. That might be just about the only valuable thing, unless you need a bed or something. But getting this truck for free has its perks because, of course, you can rip parts off of it and sell it, like I'm going to do. Another thing is. You get some pretty fucking mint used parts, used custom parts. Like, for instance, that fucking roll cage. Putting that bitch on it. I found this grill. I don't know if I'm going to put it on or not. I just now got done scraping all the paint off it because the lip tar that owned it before, before me, that's a big old rust spot. He spray painted the bitch solid black without any type of sanding or anything on this chrome. So, of course, all the paint just flaked right off the bitch. So I just scrape what was left off of it. And in order for that grill 
custom grill for an 82 to fit on my 89 model <clears throat> I'm gonna have to move these brackets down maybe an inch or so and then cut both sides off maybe half inch that's literally about the only difference and like I said I'm gonna have those beefy BF Goodriches on the back and these tires are going on the front so yeah got the transmission tunnel out the other day on my truck so I can go ahead and start cutting until I started cutting already I'm just trying to get most of the floor out at this moment I did start messing with the radio haven't quite figured out what's wrong with it cause some type of weird bullshit which I'm not good with wiring whatsoever got these both doors it had this door right here had no speaker at all that door over there had a crappy what is it called a legacy I'm gonna guess it's probably a factory speaker I don't know a little bitty two and a half inch I don't know it's not, not a two and a half inch I don't know what I'm saying it's a five and a quarter inch legacy 240 watt these right here are some pioneers I pulled out of a box these seem to be pretty fairly new after I get this truck running and driving pretty good and once I figured out all the legal stuff like the tail lights and the headlights not working which I know why the headlights ain't working because the um if you did not know older vehicles like this truck it would be right here and on the donor truck it's over here I'll show you get over here right quick it's this right here that's a dimmer switch you press that with your foot to activate the high low dim lights mine ended up rotting out and someone unplugged it and did something with it so now the headlights on my truck don't work at all because of that because it requires a complete circuit for the lights to work got brake lines on it because I don't know if I told y'all before but the right wheel over there went to go I stuck this brand new master cylinder on it brand spanking new reservoir and everything went to go bleed the brakes heard fluid looked around there the right the front right brake line the metal line was busted in half where the wire meets the frame where the tube meets the frame fix that one went to go bleed it heard fluid again this time it was on the other wheel in the exact same spot so still haven't got a chance to bleed them I'm um, uh, I have drove this truck don't get me wrong it just has no brakes at this moment it just needs to be bled which I'm just too fucking lazy to go do that and I just, that's a two-man job and not many people are very fond about coming outside and bleeding the brakes on my own pickup at 90 degree weather here in Texas but whatever I was driving it first I was backing it up back and forth here in the driveway whatever just trying to figure out the shifter because it's been a while I'm, like, I'm not used to the whole clutch thing because I'm because I've been with automatics for a while I think it's been maybe three or four years since I drove a standard so I had to figure it out again and I started moving it back and forth got it figured out managed to get all just started driving all over the place with it with no brakes of course which then of course with the clutch you can stop Went to get in the truck the other day when I got off of work. Wanted to give the old girl a little ride. Don't take that in a way because I know some of y'all would say something about that. But anyways, got it about halfway out the driveway. And my foot went flat to the floor and there was no more clutch. And I started rolling backwards. And I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it. Way, hang on, way back there right in the center of the screen where there's a concrete block around it is an old I don't even know how old shredder like a um, a shredder for the back of a tractor my truck did not stop I killed it and everything right when I got to that missed it by maybe half a foot bumped the starter about halfway back up Got tired of bumping the starter, stuck it in first gear and cranked it in gear with no brakes and got it back over here and when we got the donor truck I had to move it over there with no clutch or brakes. So 
fucking mint. So these are the custom parts, custom used parts, which are even minter. I don't know if I'm going to do anything about these. I might cut them off and just have a single roll bar or attach a pipe and make it a full four point roll cage. I'm not so sure. Got this grill that I'm not so sure I'm going to put in. 